Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 459. My name is Ajay Parmar and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar which is, my, which is my channel and in this channel you will get the tons of the codes on the VBA, uh, on Excel, on Access and Access VBA. We are right now on the video number 459 and in this video I am going to assist one of my subscribers who actually sent out an email quite a while back and uh, so this email actually talks about the how to import the sheet names in one cell now i talked about the you know this uh, previously as well but there we <coughs> with the slight change actually uh, we imported the sheet names in the different cells but in this case uh, what he's saying is that he wants to see all the sheet names in one cell right so i'm just going to talk about that uh, so uh, before i go further and read out the email uh, i want to tell you that uh, uh, because a lot of you keep on coming with the request that the, you basically want to understand the procedure, how you can go and learn it. So this is the playlist guys. These are all the 45 playlists I have created here and you can watch them in this sequence, right? For Excel VBA, Excel Access and Access VPA. Watch all the playlists one by one in this series. And the playlist means that basically the category which you find on my front page of the channel. Click here and you'll get to see all these 45 different playlists. These, as you can see, this is on the Access VBA and the topic is Arrays. This is on the Access VBA introduction. This is on the Excel, only the Excel part and this is the offset function we talked about the offset function in this series and there are nine videos imagine nine videos guys it, it is not just one or two videos right because so when you click on this you know you would find there are some basic videos some intermediate level videos and some are super funky super advanced stuff there right so basically the channel is all about covering the different different topics from the different different you know these the you know the subject so we have the basic videos we have the intermediate level videos we have the advanced level videos now let me come back to the question so sanjay kumar singh has uh, had written this email hi ajay sir today night i watched your video number 150 i have a question regarding this video and actually i have a workbook and want all sheet names into a particular row that row number a2 to get as sheet 1 comma sheet 2 comma sheet 3 is it possible it would be very appreciated if you may provide the syntax thanks in regards sanjay from delhi all right so sanjay this is quite easy actually um, so in this case we can run the loop so first of all let me go here and so what he actually saying guys uh, so suppose i have let's say uh, you know couple of sheets here it doesn't matter how many sheets you have right and what name sort of you have it is not we are going to make a code quite dynamic so it it is going to work regardless of the sheet names you have and regardless regardless of the number of the sheets you have right now in this case what he wants is he wants to see the training and then comma sheet 4 then comma sheet 5 then comma sheet 2 and then comma sheet 3 and if you have more sheets or maybe in the future if you have more sheets this is how we want to show up the you know the sheets in the single set now so what we can do is now in this case we're going to learn the uh, we're going to use the collection loop this is called the collection loops right now if if you're wondering that uh, what are these uh, basically you know uh, these uh, the collection loops then i must tell you these collection loops basically um, uh, you know the pre-built vba loops and they, they are they are there to uh, you know help us uh, help us in 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 working with the you know the same object of the uh, different objects basically of the same family different objects in the sense that they have the same data type they have they are let's say i want to say that i want to work with the different different workbooks all together right now the workbooks are all same but they are all different they have a different name so i can run the for each workbook in the workbooks now i talk about the charts so in the charts you have a different chart obviously but they are basically the parent you know the, the, the type is chart so you can run the loop for, for each chart object in the chart objects right so these are the collection loops now in this case we are going to actually make a uh, you know collection loop uh, which is going to be for each worksheet in worksheets right and guys uh, I talked about this in one of my playlists called Excel VBA collection loops you, you this is your third playlist and you when you click on there you got to watch the videos in the you know predefined sequence so start watching the videos in that sequence and you will understand it but I, I'm going to give you the idea basically this loop is going to loop through all the sheets one by one it doesn't matter what name I have and it doesn't matter in future how many sheets I will have. We will, we will make this code dynamic. Even if somebody comes and delete any sheet, that's okay. The code is not going to give you any error. So let's go and start this and let me go to the tool and the option. And I would like to increase the font size for you. I think it's already done. That's okay. 
so this is where we will start writing the program so I just um, write this name that import sheet names so this is my the macro name right and now this is how we write basically for each worksheet in my worksheets okay and next my worksheet now when you run this loop so what happens this loop through all the uh, sheets one by one automatically it is going to cover all the sheets doesn't matter because you see that I have nowhere written that you got to go on the training sheet you got to go on the sheet 4 you got to go on the sheet 5 I'm not writing anything here right it's a it's a it's a loop which is a collection loop and it says for each for each worksheet right so this is how we are actually going to use this right so we will define a variable called object variable worksheet ws as worksheet because you you cannot use the you know the class directly and instead of that worksheet class you write here for each ws and this is going to be changed to next ws because using the worksheet you will not be able to run the code now i have written this now what is the next thing i want to do well the next thing i want to run is uh, i will simply go and choose any any sheet let's say uh, sheet 3 i'm going to actually put all the elements in this sheet names in the sheet 3 so what i will do is uh, maybe i can do this thing let's say i declare my worksheet my ws as worksheet this is how you declare and then you say that set my ws is going to be equals to this workbook this workbook refers to the playlist which is the name of my excel file and then in this the sheet name is going to be sheet 3 so that is also how you can define it right it's not mandatory my friends I mean what I'm doing here you can simply write here this way as well that write the sheet name and just go and write the sheet 3 and then just go write the range you know the A1 A1 cell and that's it but as a programmer you should have I think a class and that's why I like to create this object right so I'll tell you that it's 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 you know use little later but remember this sheet 3 is coming because this is a sheet 3 name if you have a different name then you can write that different name there right now the next thing is that we want to import all these sheets in one single cell right so what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to uh, you know pull out the worksheet names and I'm going to put that in the range a1 which is you know belongs to my worksheet so what I will do I will simply say my worksheet range and then in the a1 dot value okay dot value is going to be equals to it is going to be equals to a variable called let's say my store right now this line is not required here I'm just going to cut this and I'm gonna put it here after the loop once the loop stops this my store is my own variable okay so I define this my store as string because my sheet names are string right they are all in text now here when I write when I run the loop my friends every time when the loop runs it's going to select the sheets one by one right it's going to loop through all the sheets one by one then you would write here worksheet dot name okay now when you run this code I'll show you because many of you you know would be asking me that uh, uh, the, the step which I'm going to tell you after just a while just hang on uh, let me first run this now you see what happens uh, so this when you, when you run this code so this is how the code is going to work what is the first sheet name it's training right so you get the training in the my store perfect now the next time what is the next sheet name it's sheet 4 now your this my store is changed from training to sheet 4 do you actually want that you don't want that because you wanted to preserve the previous name as well isn't it you wanted to have it here training comma sheet 4 or maybe training space sheet 4 whatever there has to be some separator now this line keeps on running and every time you have a new value in the my store what about the previous two values what about the previous two sheet names training and sheet 4 they are gone and if they are gone it's of no use right so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna join this and with maybe comma or maybe with space that's all up to you I use the space now what happens when you run the code for the first time you know my store is empty what is the sheet name training all right 
you get to see here you know a training right with a little space but that's fine right it's not really so important the training captures now the next time when you go in the next sheet what happens this sheet time is going to change to sheet 4 because this is the next sheet so the loop is actually running and it's looping through all the sheets one by one but what about this my store guys this is already training from the previous loop run so it stores the value so when you're going to write the syntax like this what happens now the previous my store is going to be you know concatenated with space and this new name sheet 4 and ultimately the new value you have training and then comma sheet 4 then you again run this what is the next sheet name the next sheet name is sheet 5 what value you have in the my store no prizes for guests because I know you are going to <laughs> give it a correct guess so this is what it is training and sheet 4 and it is going to be joined with sheet 5 what is the next value now training sheet 4 sheet 5 so this is the trick basically every time you run this this is going to show you all the sheet values you can see here guys right so I have some oh why this comparison coming oh well I don't see that sheet uh, maybe it's hidden let me see that so there we go and finally once you are done you simply say that you got to print this value in a1 which is going to be this one and that's how you have the value guys right now I know that this worksheet I have written these two extra lines but this is just to give you the knowledge you can directly also write that this workbook sheet sheet 3 dot range a1 dot value that's okay right so if I put the comma here you know the commas are going to be inserted right so you just need to actually come here and you need to write here a slash or comma like this and the comma will be inserted that's all up to you maybe you can create some additional space right so now whenever you run this macro so if I just go and delete this for example and I just go in the insert and I create a macro and I'm going to draw this macro I right click on that I go to the sign macro and what is my macro name uh, well import sheet names all right now I'm going to run this when you run it this is how it looks like isn't it great right you have all the values coming here now if I add any more sheet now first of all I want to check is there any yeah the sheet is hidden so you see that this is a comparison sheet sheet one so there are two sheets basically so that's why we are able to see sheet one and comparison so it's not a magic don't think that I'm a magician it's just the you know the sheets were hidden all right so now I go and add sheet uh, one more sheet for example this is the one sheet six and sheet seven now when you run this let's have a look you will actually get all the names sheet training sheet 4 sheet 5 sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 6 sheet 7 comparison and sheet 1 and they are all coming in the the, the way they are created they are they're used in the excel so first the sheet is created training and then the sheet 4 and then the sheet 5 and then the sheet 2 and then sheet 3 and then sheet 6 after the sheet 6 we have those two hidden sheets right sheet 7 comparison and the sheet 1 is coming right now we can also do one thing every time if you want that the user should not click here it should automatically happen what you can do is you can go in this workbook and you can select this from this workbook this event workbook and the workbook open would come in in your case if this workbook underscore open doesn't come then just go here and make sure you should actually select this open event now when you select this open event you can simply call the macro from here which macro you're supposed to call now I created a macro called um, so where I created that macro let me quickly check that okay so import sheet name okay so I just copy the name of this macro and I say that the moment of you know the macro this workbook opens we should call this macro and I can show you now let me delete that and we're going to just close this let's save the file and now I'm going to open this playlist file and let's see if we have the sheets imported there or not right so there we go so the playlist is getting open and as you can see that user is not even able to see that what's happening in the background right so that's all guys you can learn this now many of time you know people they ask me that when they open the workbook the macro runs but they want to actually don't want that macro to run but at the same time they don't want to delete that macro they actually want to run it but they want to give it a pause because when this workbook opens it immediately runs and they don't have this option right even if they put the break code and they close the file it's not gonna work well I understand your pain and that's why I'm gonna give you this additional bonus you just write here stop okay when you wanna write stop the code will stop here so now I'm going to save this file for you 
So I save the file and I'm going to open this. Let's have a look. So the moment the file opens, it will stop at that stop line. Look at this, my friends. Macro is not running yet, right? These are the lines which we previously when the macro ran, you know, it's there. Otherwise, this should have been blank. The macro is waiting for you now. Now from here, you can take the control and you can further go and run the macro, right? So I hope now you must be jumping with the joy because I have explained this and for those who I mean because you know I, I, I struggled with this thing long time back and I was not able to find out the solution then I got to know this from one of my colleagues right and it was absolutely you know thrilled to know this feature right so I hope the same thing the same feeling you have <laughs> right now because this is really terrific you can put the stop and you can wait for the code to be executed because these are all the self-triggered macros they don't wait for you to you know go on the sheet and click on the button so that's it for now sanjay thank you so much for your question and guys we're going to meet soon we we will talk about something else next time until then you take care of yourself and have a fantastic learning i'll see you soon bye bye